If you turn on the news right now, you're going to see almost nothing but people talking about what happened in that New York courtroom today with Donald Trump. I think it's important that we take a step back and really look at what are the very serious consequences that have come from this, that extend far beyond this specific uh, case, these charges, this verdict, and even Donald Trump. What we are seeing here should be a wake-up call to every American, regardless of your political affiliation, regardless of about how you feel about President Trump or President Biden. What has happened is President Biden has turned our country into a banana republic, a country where those in power are using the law, the rule of law, and our justice system and law enforcement to persecute their political opponents. Now, this, this isn't something that is only happening to Donald Trump. The consequences of this apply to every one of us because as we see this new norm and new precedent being set, how can we as Americans feel safe and feel emboldened in challenging political authorities in our own country when we know that they can use the power of law enforcement to go after us, to go after their political opponents, to go after people who have the courage and the audacity to challenge their authority. That is what is at stake here. The foundation for the success of our democratic republic is that we as Americans, we the people, have faith and trust in the rule of law. We must have this confidence that we will all be treated fairly under the law, regardless of our political affiliation or views, regardless of our race or religion, regardless of anything, any of these other uh, uh, affiliations or circumstances, that we will all be treated equally. That foundation of our democracy has been destroyed by the Biden-Harris administration. Make no mistake about how serious this is to you and me and to the future of our ability to live in a free society. They have done this through their personal political persecution of Donald Trump. If we allow this to stand, it'll forever be destroyed and our country will be finished if it's not reversed and reversed quickly. So how do we do that? The only way is if every one of us as Americans, regardless of whether you're a Democrat or a Republican or an independent or a libertarian, when every one of us as Americans makes that decision that there is nothing more important than freedom. There is nothing more important than protecting our democratic republic, than defending our constitution, than upholding the rule of law and saving our country. We must hold those accountable. We must hold President Biden and his administration accountable by punishing them and other politicians who dare to put their own uh, desire for power in a higher place of importance than our freedom, our constitution, our bill of rights, our rule of law, our democratic republic. It's not too late. November 5th is a critical election where we have the opportunity to hold these people to account by voting them out of office on November 5th and voting for Donald Trump.